So, Dream RJ here. Just thought I would do another tutorial today, but on particles in Portal 2. I'll try and touch on a few bits, but uh, I'll get into that when I when I show you. So, let's open up Portal 2 Arthing Tools. <coughs> so, we've opened the Arthing Tools up. So, what we'll do, we'll just open up a map. We will just do I just open up the tutorial one that was working on in previous tutorials. This one here, open. Okay. So, without further ado, I just quickly show this. This is a list. If you go to, if you just type in uh, in Google, a uh, portal to space particles you'll find a link that's that goes to this website file developer community uh, i will also put this link in the description of this video uh, but it's just basically a list of all the portal 2 particles and what you can actually use that are enabled to be used in in portal 2. Uh, a lot of these don't work <laughs> so i don't know right <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, I just had a sneeze. <laughs> so, a lot of these don't work. Uh, I don't know why they're listed, to be honest, but they are. Uh, and I've only used actually a few of them. I've used a water one where it drips, like a dripping water. And I've also used, like, this is the one for the, diver for the diversity events. Uh, and I've also used fire. And I've also used. Uh, I think I've used another one as well, but I forgot the name of it. Uh, so, without further ado, let's just show you how to do it. So, say for example, so let let's let's put a pipe just on the ceiling, and this is I'm not going to make it perfect. I'm just it's, this is just to, as a demonstration because obviously we need a model if we're going to do water particle then we need a model to make it look like the water is coming from a broken pipe so we'll, we'll just get a, a prop underscore static with the create, create an entity tool and we'll click it on the ceiling like so and then we'll click the selection tool I know you can't see it because of my little logo at the top uh, but the selection tool is there, the, the arrow the, the red arrow uh, and then you so you press X on the keyboard so then you can get the, the selection the, the right boxes around it so you double click it and then we'll go to the world model and then we'll just type in pipe and see what comes up so for science we'll just use this model okay I know it's not exactly broken but it's just to show you. Uh, let's just change the grid size to thirty. Oh, it is on. Oh no, it's not. It's on two to thirty-two. I'll probably change it again in a minute. But anyway. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to just rotate it. So it's like this. Actually, it might actually be the other way around. Yeah. I'm I don't know, what do you reckon? Should we pull it the other way around? Let's see what it looks like upside down. Okay, we'll do it that way. Yeah, that's the ceiling bit. Okay, so I think that's the right way around. Okay, so let's just try and pull it flush against the ceiling. So what we need to do is we need to change the grid size again, go to the minus here, so we can move it up a bit. Oh, now it's going in the ceiling, so again, A bit fiddly to do these though. Can, as you can see, there's still a gap, so it's still floating. So what we'll do, we'll go back down to two, and then we'll 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 fine tune it. So we need to go to one actually. Okay, that will do. It's as flush as it can be. Okay, so let's go back to sixteen, and then what we'll do, we'll just copy and paste. So we press the shift key, and shift drag it 
to make a duplicate to make it look like it's going through that wall there. <coughs> so this is this is obvious. I'm not. I mean, if I was going to do this properly, I'd have different textures underneath, and I'd actually lift this ceiling up like this. So I'd 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 do this, and then I'd do this. And then I'd lift this up so it's like this. And then what I'd do is I'd do this and I'd drag it up like this, you see. So it looks like it's, you know, so it's out. And then what I'd do is I would get these and then I'd. Well, actually, I think I can just get away with me resizing them upwards. It won't do any harm because obviously we to change the grid size, and then as you can see, we've got no draw here. So you get the texture tool, click this brush, press the Alt key, and then click on this one by right clicking, and then it puts that texture on this brush. And also, I wanted to do it there as well. But what I'll do is I think I'll change this texture actually because it's the wrong texture. But let's just do this brush as well. So I think I'll resize this brush. Like so. Okay, so now as you can see we've got a little gap now. So it looks like this is above the the ceiling. So then what you can do is you can just retexture these see surfaces because it's a bit behind the scenes. So you can get this texture tool and you can go to browse and then you can just look for or you can do this actually and go BTS and then you'll see all the BTS textures but I think the one we'll use is this red one here this is the one that, that looks good for when you've got pipe work in front behind it so we'll click on this one not the cheap the cheap looks worse so we'll do this one so it's metal wall underscore BTS underscore but you can pick whichever one you want to really it's up to you but this is the one that I usually use for doing it and then you just right click where you want the textures so if you click that alt key and do that one and this one and then what we need to also do is I'm going to just have to resize these actually I should have done that I should have just made it so own brush because we want to have just that texture on this on this one little bit here like so so then I can put this texture on there then so it's dump and dump like so and then I have to do the same on this one here so just do this don't take long now nearly there shift drag it up you'll get you'll you'll get used to the shift key the shift key is very useful and then you just do that and there you go so as you can see now it looks like this is, is behind the scenes isn't it so it's it's like this so there we go so that's that so then what we need to do I mean what you can also do then is you can put like panels so you could also put like a frame model on top of this so it's flush against this wall with gaps in so then you can see the pipe work through it uh, it's you know it, it, the sky's the limit you, you know you just be as creative as you possibly can as long as you keep everything perfectly on grid and not overlapping nothing you know just perfect so i just getting a drink of coffee <laughs> sorry for the gulping noises uh, so yeah so particles so you go to the created entity tool and then go to this little box on the right and just type in particle like so and then what you want is the info underscore particle underscore system so you click it and then we'll just click it on 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 this on because it has to be on the brush you need to click it too in the in the 3d view so then go back to the selection tool and as you can see you can move it about now so what we need to do is we need to pull it into the middle of the pipes or wherever you want the, 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 the leak to come from or the, the water to come from and then what you need to do is you need to rotate this because it's the water you know it's really, it's hard to explain but sometimes you don't need to rotate it and the particles because the particles are so hard uh, to use sometimes you've got to 
play around with it and, and see what it looks like in game and then and then you can and then you know which way to rotate this if you need to rotate it in a different way because sometimes it, just because this is pointing just because of this bit here is pointing down doesn't mean the particle is facing in that direction in game it's very it's very weird particle systems the way they are uh, it's not a very good particle system to be honest very fiddly at times uh, but yeah so let's go down to a smaller grid size so I can put it in the middle ish another one okay so let's just should I put it dead center okay so I'll put it in the center of the two okay so what we need, then need to do is we need to double click it to go into the properties from this 3d view or you can right click it on this and then you can give it a name but you don't really if, if you need to name it for turning it on and off and everything but it's it's optional so particle system name so you need to double click this oh oh there we go it's because uh, it's not we it's not because I haven't used the particle system for ages it had to re-render everything so it has to load everything because I haven't used it in ages because I and well because I because I reinstalled Windows basically <laughs> on a new SSD so as you can see this is the particle browser you can see loads of effects here in the particle browser window so then what we need to do is we need to look for the drip one so I forgot which one the drip one was now uh, so just bear with me when I'm looking for which one the drip was I don't think it was the water it might have been this one so let's look for water so we can type in filter water I really don't think it was that but okay so we'll apply it we'll apply that and then what I just quickly do is I'm going to just quickly open up a uh, one of my co-op maps that I've made where I had particle system in just to see which one it was because it was it's it's been a long time since I used a uh, thingy so I'm looking for the deep underground the deep underground let's go back to name eh? get a in order there it is. This is going to take a while to open because it's a huge map. <laughs> if you've played it, you'll you'll know that it's a huge map. It's got a lot of puzzle uh, chambers and areas in it. Just finishing my coffee. Bear with me. Okay, so it's loaded. So we'll just. Oh, also sometimes when you open maps up, it, this this is sometimes tick this R with, with a round circle. So it's got a capital R and an R. So you just, and a round circle around it. Just unclick it because it's it lags. It makes it really laggy and and jerky when you're moving around. So as you can see, it's dead smooth again now. <sighs> So I'm just no clip into that other area. So yeah, this is actually a particle system here. Uh, I've got fire coming up from under here, as you can see, these fire particles. So this fire particle is actually fire jet, fire underscore jet underscore O one underscore flame. And that's actually facing the right direction, but some particles are facing the wrong direction. So you'll also see there's more particles here. I went a bit mad with, with the particles in this map, to be honest, and and everything. So it was drip stream underscore one. Okay. So let's just quickly have a look. Where's the drip stream? 
it's not even showing in the, is it in the portal too? Oh, that's right, because it was scrolled down. Okay, sorry. I had to scroll down. These are the Portal 2 ones. So you scroll down. Okay. So it was Drips Dream 01. If I would have scrolled down before, I would have found, I would have remembered one time. That was it, I remember now. Okay. So what we need to do is just, I just, yeah, so, so as you can see, this is, this, I, I've got, I've got them drips, them particle system, them drips coming from this pipe here. Uh, and so on and so forth and this this was the map that I made you can play it if you want it's in the workshop on stream it's called the deep underground and it's a co-op map so you can play with another person or a friend or a family member or it's a lot of fun it's a good map it's it's enjoyable and it's also got this lovely conveyor belt that took a lot of time to make and it as you can see it was it was very fiddly uh, to do <laughs> you can see all my little work that I had to do like with these to stop things from falling over the edges it was it was a nightmare to do this this uh, conveyor belt system because it's got stuff on it you see and, and, and everything and it's pretty cool and the, these is cool because these are actually physics overrides you can actually pick these up so in the game you can pick these up that's another good tip so you just if you want to make a model of prop physics override you can then make it pick up a bowling game and then you just go to the flags and just click just generate output on use and that'll basically allow it to be picked up and just have all the others not checked at all so they're all unticked just this one is is ticked so anyway yeah so let's go back to the other one so now what we need to do is we need to click here go back to here I mean I could just paste but I'll do it this way so we're looking for drip oh it didn't tie it. oh yes it did bit laggy isn't it okay so it's this one there it is so just click this and apply and we also want it to start active yes so that's how that's basically how you do the drip so say you wanted to have fire uh, in the room or in the map so as you can see all I've done there is I've just shift dragged and copied them to make it look like there's more than one stream coming from this so I'm just going to lift this one up a bit and move it there a bit and the same for this one and then just group them all together to make it look like it's a massive a massive leak okay so say you wanted to have fire for example so you'll you'll do the particle system again click it on the wall and say you wanted the, f the fire to come from, we should have done it on the floor actually. So say you wanted the fire, where is it gone? Oh, it's because I, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I was in the wrong view. Okay, so it's this view here. So just drag it all the way down to the floor. Like so and rotate it like so I just quickly put a hole in the what in the floor this is completely uh, completely completely messing my room up isn't it this eh my tutorial room but anyway it doesn't make any difference it's just a tutorial map to show you how to do things so I suppose it doesn't do any harm in showing in, in doing this making these you know the way they are 
So what I'm doing is I'm just going to create a hole in the floor because it needs a hole <laughs> in the floor to make the f to make it look like the fire is coming from somewhere. So as you can see, I'm just creating the walls under the floor now. So as you can see, I've just done that one. So now, now I'm doing the other two there. Just to make it look more realistic, you see, because if I didn't do this, it just wouldn't look as realistic. So that one's overlapping, so as you can see, I've just resized it. So I'll just get the Alt key, uh, the, <laughs> the Texture tool, right-click this one, Alt key, and click on that push there, and the same to that, because it's got a no dual texture showing. Oops. <laughs> and this one. And there we go, just need to do the floor now. So just grab this brush here, because it's the right size, and then clone it, like so, and then drag it all the way down, like so to the floor and there as you can see we've got a hole in the floor so now what we'll do we're going to use this same texture so we'll get this texture tool like so and press the out key well, you don't really need to press the out key this time but I'm just pressing it to keep it all so so let's just do it this way then okay so all the textures are now fine okay so then what we need to do is we just need to put this under the floor, like so. And then what we'll do, we'll go to this and we'll get a prop static. And we'll just put it there for now. Double click it, world model. And then we're looking for a frame. Not that one. Not that one. Uh, that one will do. 128 by 128. So as you can see, all I'm doing is I'm putting this into position, like so, because there's a hole in the floor. And then what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go to this block creation tool, click on browse, and look for a grating. So if you type, so let's just get rid of this from here, so press delete, and do grate, G R A T E. You'll see all the different gratings you can do. So we'll just use this one. So then what we need to do is we just need to create a brush the same size as this. So actually I'm going to go down to a 8 grid size. No, it's a 4 grid size. Because I want to put it right on the corners of this. You don't want it going to the edge because it'll overlap in the game and it'll look bad. So what you want is you just want it just there like so and then just right click and create and I've just created a grating but first of all what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just retexture this so go back to the so get the while it's still selected go to the texture tool and just type no draw in that's the one apply and then what we need to do then is unselect it and then go to the texture tool, click this surface here and this one under here by pressing the control key so it selects the both uh, yeah, so it selects both and then go to browse and then just go type great in again and get that one back and apply and then as you can see that's just putting, putting it on those two faces then so then what we also need to do is we need to resize this because it's not the right size. So I'll resize it and we'll go back, we'll go down to a two for now and we'll just put it into the position. Okay. 
I think we've got, what we'll do is we'll go down to a one grid size and start this out. So we'll need to put it over there actually. Because the node wall, it'll look a bit odd with the node wall on the edges. So it makes it look perfect. Yeah, the, this is just a cosmetic thing to make the fire look more realistic, like it's coming from somewhere. So to make this look even more cool, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the texture of this floor. So we'll go to Browse and we'll type in a uh, light, like so. Then what we're looking for, we're looking for light orange. Like so. And apply. Hang on, that's not the right one, is it? That's not the right one. Uh, there's another one that you can use. Let's delete light and see if it shows up just by over the BTS. No, I can't see it. This is something else I hate about Hammer. This happens all the time. A lot of textures don't show up. They just show as black. Sometimes they load. Sometimes they won't. It's random. It just randomly shows certain textures sometimes and some some others. Sometimes it's... I don't understand why it's like this. I don't... It really is annoying because you can't see all of the, proper, the textures properly. It can be very irritating. Uh Is it in industrial? See what it means? You can't, still can't see them again. Uh, it's got like an orange glow with like fiery kind of look to it. Should I maybe type fire in? That's a sprite. Okay, because I can't find it, we'll just leave it. So we'll just put this texture back onto the floor. It would have looked cool, but I can't. I just can't remember what the name of it was called. Because basically, it's got like an orange and, and like a glowy kind of effect to it. So as you can see, we've got this this particle system under under the created now, like so. So then, what we need to do is we need to click on the particle system stream, and then what we're looking for is fire. So if we just type fire in. And then we'll just go back to Internet Explorer, uh, to Chrome, and we'll just have a quick look at which fire we can use. I think it was this one, wasn't it? The Plumo one. From the Portal 1 particles. Because I think you can actually use... Yeah, I think we can use the Portal 1 particles. So let me just <laughs> quickly open it up again just to see which one it was. Because we need to make sure we use the, the right one because a lot I, te I did test a lot of the fire particles and only I think there's only one or two that actually work. Some, some of the particle system crashed the game. So as soon as it loads, the game crashes. Or as soon as it's trying to load in the loading screen, or when you're loading your map up, it just it just crashes portal. And so it's it the particles are a pain. It's the they can be real pain and and, and a pain. You've just got to te test and see which ones work and which ones don't, and just mess about with them and play with them and and just be just 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 have fun and but you know try not to get annoyed and just experiment. Because that's what it's about, in and and trying to find which ones work. Uh, so open 
deep on the ground. There we go. Loading, 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 loading. <laughs> loading, loading, loading. Okay, so we'll just quickly zoom. I yeah, just quickly show that. I've just seen how big this map is. Look at this. <laughs> it's huge. Absolutely huge. Huge, huge, huge. It really is a massive map, this. <laughs> so anyway, so we're looking for the fire, oh, fire particle. So we we'll just go back down here like so. Double click these. Fire jet 01 flame. Okay, so that's the one. So we'll just copy. So yeah, as you can see, this one isn't even listed. As you can see, it's not even listed. It's listed, I think, up here. Yeah, it's listed here. And as you can see, some, some of the general particles do actually work in Portal, like this one, for example. But other fire ones, like, for example, I actually think that this, some of these don't work, even though it's listed in Portal 1 and Portal 2 particles. It, it, you know, it, this is why it makes no sense. It's like the, 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 some of them don't work and they crash the game. But yet they're listed in this in this page. I mean, yes, the only thing this is useful for this page is to see the names of which particles are available. That's the only useful part about this, <laughs> other than other than that, because all the rest is basically hit or miss and, and experimenting to 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 see which one you want and which one works and what have you. So anyway, yeah. So we've got the name, and I've copied it. So I just minimise it actually, and then we'll just double click, go to the particle, and then just hang on node, and just right click and paste, and then apply, and then basically what will happen now is. I'll quickly show this in a minute once I've compiled. So uh, you'll see that there will be flame now coming from this, f coming from underneath the floor, which is going to look weird in this in this clean kind of room. But basically, yeah. So as you can see, I've just put it there, so it's in the middle. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just change the grid size to 16, and I'll actually make it so it's coming from in the corner. So I do four flames. Because I can, <laughs> so I just see. I've just, as you can see, I've just shift dragged, and that copies them. Okay, so we'll just do a quick compile to show you what these two particle systems looks like. I'll tell you what. I'll just, I'll just quickly fill that hole in. So we'll use the same grating. So I'm just selecting these like this, and I'm just going to put that up there like so, and I've just shift dragged it up there. So I'm just putting that into position. So also what you're going to have to do, because this particle is here and because it's on the ceiling, uh, you want the particles to drip down. So what you want to do is you need to make this non-solid. You need to make these non-solid. So you're going to have to actually make this a brush and then make this brush non-solid. So you press Control T to tie this to an entity. And then what you need to do is you need to make it a brush. So it's a funk underscore brush like so uh, and then what we want to do is we want to change the solidarity the solidity sorry <laughs> I said that wrong it never solid and then the same with this model so you want this model to be never solid so I think that's collisions not solid. So in collisions, not solid. Okay. Let me just check the flags on the oh, on the bush. Okay. So let's just copy this over to there. Don't know why it's being derpy now. I think that was it. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, we've got that there and that there. 
I mean, obviously, I could have used the, the, the bigger model to go all the way across, and then there wouldn't be these joins in the middle. But it doesn't make any difference. It looks okay as it is. Because it is just a tutorial, so it's not too bad. So just compile the map quickly. And then I'll quickly show you what they look like. Hoping that it doesn't crash the game, because <laughs> sometimes the particles do crash the game. Even though I've used these before, so they should work. So hopefully they'll be they'll be fine. And there we go. The game's just loading. So it works. Okay, so we're in. So there we go. So we come into the room. Oh, there they are. Oh, well. So the fire's not working. But the as you can see, you can see the drips. So the drips are working perfect. But the fire isn't. Right, can you see this? I've got a problem here. With these. You can see that is like a weird shadow. So that is because of the model shadow. So you need to disable the shadows on these models. So on this frame model, disable the shadow. And the same at the top. You can see it's black and around the edges and that. That's just shadow, basically. You need to disable the shadow. So that's just another pro hammer tip. You don't always need to disable the shadows, uh, but when when you put frames, when you put models right next to the bushes, like I have, you need to always disable the shadows on those ones close to bushes, because otherwise you get black marks and black shadows, and it looks very bad in game. So let's just exit. So as you can see, if I wouldn't if I wouldn't have made these non-solid, those drips from this particle would have landed on this, and the, you wouldn't have saw them falling down to the floor. You would have you would have, you would have just saw them that there was you wouldn't be able to see, you, you would have been if you looked up you could see the drip, but you would they wouldn't have fell through. You see, so I wonder why these doesn't work. Because they haven't got them start active. Ha <laughs> ha Of course, that was why. Okay, so just select them all. Start active. Yes. Okay. So basically, also, what we're going to have to do now is going to uh, now we've got fire. We're going to actually have to do a quick trigger hurt. So we'll just put a trigger hurt around here, like so, but obviously above ground. So we're just creating a quick bush. God, I'm on a bad grid size, aren't I, eh? This is bad hammering. This is why it's so important to do a good grid size. It's down the grid size. So just go back to 32. Sixteen. <laughs> Because this has to look be realistic, so there, that's perfect. So as you can see, so now it's covering these flames. So that's that. So we just go a bit higher because I forgot how high these flames go. <laughs> I can't remember with the how high they go. So we'll just go. We'll make it that big then. Okay. So then what we need to do is go to browse, tr type trigger in. Or trig, whatever, and then you'll see that there's a trigger one. You double click it and then just right click create object, and that's created this trigger. So go to the selection tool, press Ctrl and T on the keyboard to tie it to an entity. And then what you need to do is you need to just type hurt in, and it'll say a trigger underscore hurt. So you select it, apply, and then what we need to do is we need to do damage, so it's fire damage. So we'll change this to burn because it's a burn and we can keep that the amount of damage so I forgot how much I forgot what the maximum was you can do but we don't want it to maximum we just want it to burn we don't want it to kill us 
we just want it to burn us. So what I'll just quickly do is I'll just quickly see what I, what I set it to in in my other map, in my co-op map. So just save it a minute, minimise. I think I've still got it open, haven't I? There it is, yes. So we'll just see what the trigger hurt settings was. Oh yeah, it's a multiple. Oh yeah, that was because of the cube. Okay, uh, just hide that one. This is the one. Okay, trigger hurt. Ah, so it's 200 and 200. Okay. Normal, no. No, okay. And flags, clients. Okay, and this one. So so if you've got objects, you need to click the bottom and this, and this top one. In the flags. Okay. What would I do without having, having you know, <laughs> uh, having things? So, double click it, 200, yeah, because I actually think it's about 500, 600 damage the player has before it dies, and if I remember from, if I remember correctly, it takes about 2 or 3, so if you stand in it for long, if you stand in this trigger for long, you will eventually die, and 200, so, so yeah, because it all builds up, you see the damage builds up, oh, so that's perfectly all right, okay. So that's 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 how you do the trigger hurt for the for the fire damage. So now what you need to do is, is as you could see if, if I if I just quickly show you, I've also got a little light there and a sound fire file for the for the fire. So what I'm just gonna actually do is I'm just gonna So okay that's the one it's fire. So what we'll do we'll just copy these actually and put them into the into the map so just put them into the center so I just paste them on the floor for now and I just lift them up like so and basically so so basically to create this you go to the creation entity tool and then it's just an ambient generic so it's an ambient uh, I mean a light sorry a light so you just click on light and then that just puts that little light bulb in the map and then you can move it into position blah 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 and then to just to change the colour you just click on the brightness here double click it then you get like a little colour thing and you just change the colour like that basically so the, so that's why I didn't I left I just copied because it just saves me getting it out so so that's how you do the, the light and then also you've, you've got other settings in the light as well like like appearance if it flickers or whatever and stuff like that and you can change that it's like there's different different types of of, of flickerings and, and stuff and also the brightness you can also change the brightness this last three digits in in the lights is what you use to change the brightness of it so the lower it is so say it's 10 that'll be very 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 uh, dull it will be very it won't be light it won't be, it won't be very very bright but if I made this 500, it'll be very, 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 very bright, you know. So that's just the example. That's that's just how it works basically. So we just put it back to. So we can just. Oh yeah, that was that one anyway. So we can just delete that one. Because this is such a small room. Oh no, we'll just leave it as a 100. For, sod it. <laughs> Nearly swore them. And we've also put this as a fluorescent flicker on this firelight. Just, just. But you can do whichever you want. But that's the one that looked okay for for the fire the flicker the fluorescent flicker and then we'll just get to this sound so the sound what you need to do is go to the creation at creation entity tool and type in ambient generic because it's a sound so you just go ambient generic click it into the world like so and then you need to go to the sound name and then click and then what you need to do is you need to filter fire because you want a fire sound Which one did I use now? Uh, Mango, it might be in the war one. There it is. It's this one. I think this was only used. Yep, that's the one I used. Now you just double click it. So it's amp underscore fire underscore lp underscore zero one dot rav. And so on and so forth. 
and then you just go to let me just see what the settings were in this one so I've, I also put the set the volume is seven so I changed the volume to seven and I, I also made the audible distance not that big as well so just so you change the volume you can you can set it to whichever you want but it only goes up to 10 in the volume and then that's that's basically that <coughs> okay yeah you're gonna have to Well, no, we don't. We don't need this. This to start silent, so we can delete this sound. We can we can delete this name because we don't need it to start silent. We want it to actually play as soon as the map spawns. So we'll just delete that now because we've shown you how to do it. So that's basically how you do the ambient generics and so on and so forth. But what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to resize because this is a, such a smaller area. So I'm just going to resize so the sound is in a smaller area radius like so so you'll only hear it when you enter this can you see this like yellow circle you'll only start hearing the sound and make it a little bit bigger when you enter this uh, uh, circle and and the closer you get the louder it will become so we'll save that and then we'll just do a quick compile now we've done all those little edits and tweaks and stuff and we'll see what it looks like so let's just close this because it'll reopen it again once it's compiled. And once I've done this, I'll just finish off in the end of this tutorial video. I'll finish off by quickly loading up my reflective diversity map. And I'll quickly show you how uh, to do the diversity event one, the, the particle you use for the diversity events. So we open the map. Oh, look, and there we've got the fire. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you can't even see the water now because the fire's too big so if you watch if I walk in you'll see that I start getting hurt oh and I died instantly so there you go I died so the trigger hurt works I think I've overdone re really overdone that particle system with the fire Anna <laughs> really overdone it it's even overlapping you know into the bushes and it looks bad it's overlapping in the bushes I'm, I should put that lower really. I really should put that lower. So yeah, that's that's that. I can't hear the fire the sound, the fire sound, I can't hear the fire sound. Don't know why the fire sound isn't working now. Oh well. I think we'd we'd have to trigger it. Okay, so let's put the name back in. Fire Sound Oops Fire underscore sound apply and then what we need to do is we need to create a go to the create an entity tool, click here, type in a oh what's it called? Logicato Logicato Click the Logicato, logic underscore auto, click it onto the while, click the, the selection tool, double click it, outputs, add, on map spawn, select this sound and play sound and apply and that should hopefully play the sound <laughs> hopefully I think what I'm going to do is I think the way maybe it's the radius that's messed up again so let's just change the radius big bigger okay so that's that and then what I'm going to do because it was thingy I'm going to put these to the floor like so and drag them down
and because they was close to the wall I'm going to just bring them in a bit like so okay and then I will just re resize this trigger because I've changed the size of the area with them so the trigger's a lot smaller now okay the trigger hurt and save and let's see what that looks like let's see if the sound plays this time hopefully it will another long tutorial I'm very good at doing long tutorials me Anna <laughs> You know, I've seen other tutorials on YouTube that people have done for Hammer and they're always short and it's like, how the hell can they do them that short? But maybe it's just me because of the way I like to discuss things. I'm a bit obsessive when it comes to describing things and explaining things. I like to try and make it as clear as possible. A lot of the time talking nonsense. <laughs> Ah, that looks a lot better. Still clipping into the wall a bit, but it's I could probably got away with just one one particle system to be honest. Yeah, I've got the fire sound. You can hear the fire sound now. Perfect. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so we'll just exit. So that's basically that. So we'll just quickly. Uh, yeah, that was it. The models. So you double click the model. And then where you can see disable shadows, click yes and apply. And then the same with the top one. So select these two. Disable shadows. Yes. And that stops that weird shadowness going hot on, on in the in the map. And then just save it. So okay, so I'll just quickly show you my other map, my last map that I actually work, uh, made and released, you might recognise it, it's called uh, Reflective Diversity and it is a black and white textured chamber and it's got diverse events in it There it is. <laughs> I was looking for reflective diversity. I didn't even name it that. I named it this instead because it was black and white. So I just named it black and white on the VMF because you can name the VMF whatever you want to name it. Wow, that was a shot when you come up there, wasn't it? When you see all this. So this was the last map that I think that I worked on. I'm very proud of this this little mechanism I did here. This is a very cool mechanism. It took a lot of work to do this 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 mechanism. Uh, basically it's got like these things and, and these doors open and this little gap obviously because the pipe the, 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 the frame thing goes through and then also I've got these little things there to make it look like it's attached and and stuff so yeah it was a lot of work so anyway the, the, the diverse defence so these are the diverse defence it was actually the first time that I actually made diverse defence and I thought it was going to be very difficult to make but they actually not that hard at all to make <laughs> so yeah so as you can see if we go to the bottom here you'll see that there is a particle system and as you can see it's facing the wrong direction on this on this side because this, this is the out outside this is the this is where the sh they, they come down f into this area so if i double click it that's why this is facing the wrong way uh, so the particle system you need for the diversity fan is the broken underscore tube underscore suck so that's the one you need. You need this particle system. So it's broken underscore tube underscore sock, and that's what you need for the particles uh, for the for the diverse defense. So if you come to this side here, you'll see that the particle system is just 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 above inside the tube. So as you can see, if you go into this view, here, it's about there. So you can see where the end of the tube is there, and then you see this here. 
So in, and this one is facing down. And this is the same. Broken underscore tube underscore sock. And and that's basically that. that that's that's the particle systems for the for the diverse defense. So just thought I'd quickly show you that. So so I've touched on on three different particle systems. Because them are the main three really that you can use in Portal 2. But these others, like I said, and I just haven't I've just had problems using others in previous maps, so I just tend to so yeah, so if so just have a play around and and and, and experiment and and yeah and have fun and please subscribe and thanks for watching and see you soon